Hello guys, and thank you all for your interest in Envit. The script is just released, but you already have a lot of questions. So I made this video to answer you as clearly as possible. Actually, you are a lot to use MASH and asking me why to switch to Envit. To well understand, it's important to know the history of Maya scattering systems. And you should well understand that most of scripts and plugins don't create their own algorithm. They should use the Maya ones. It's the case of MASH, Envit or any. As you may know, there is no scattering tool in Maya. Since age, scripts use the Maya and particles with the instancer node. That works, but uh, it's an extremely old uh, technology from more than uh, 10 years old with limitation and no more development from Autodesk. For now, all the Maya scattering scripts and tools are based on this particles algorithm. It's uh, the case of MASH. But Envit is the first and the only to use the all new Maya scattering system core from Bifrost. So to resume, MASH is based on an old Maya technology with no future development, while Envit use the powerful new scattering core that Autodesk is building for the next 10 years. This is the main reason on why to use Envit instead of MASH, plus the dedicated UI, uh, the simple one-click workflow, etc. Knowing that, some ask why using Envit instead of building my own Bifrost graphs. Of course, it's possible. But what is the main purpose of a script? It's to automate for you tasks using existing tools, which means, in fact, you can do all what scripts uh, do, but that will take you months instead of uh, some seconds. It's why, in fact, scripts are nothing more than gain of time and comfort to use. And it's the main idea of Envit and all of my scripts. Found for you the best workflow in order you focus on your art and you do it with pleasure. So back to Envit. It took me five months to develop my scattering before the graph. And I was helped by a lot of uh, talented guys, uh, the before better development, etc. Also, even if you wish to build your own graph, you will not have automation provided by a scripting aspect. You are allowed to ask me if Envit is working with Redshift, Vray, or Renderman. For now, it's not. It's only working with Arnold. As we saw, Envit used Bifrost, and Bifrost is still in development, and don't support other renderers for now. So you should wait until this to open Bifrost to other renderers, then other renderers to develop their renderers for Bifrost, and only then I will be able to add it to Envit. So as you can understand, it's not before at least one year. But be aware that Arnold is a really powerful renderer, and you don't need other renderers for making great environments. Just look at Elysium or all the movie and environment picture we saw with Arnold and don't limit you to Redshift or other renderer. Arnold is pretty robust for this kind of stuff. To finish, I really invite you to visit the Envit website where you will find more information about the script and the roadmap about what I plan for Envit. I designed Envit not just like a scattering script, but like a complete environment toolkit. I plan to add, for example, cloud water creation and an asset library. So if you support Envit now, you will get updates for free. I really hope this video helped you to better understand what is Envit. And if you still have uh, some question, of course, feel free to ask me directly on the dedicated place on my Discord. Thank you.